The people that succeed are not necessarily the most talented. They are the most determined. They know how to persevere. When they fail, they don't see that as final. They learn from it and try again. Don't ever name your future by your present day circumstances. I will not give up on my dreams. I will not give up because somebody did me wrong. I will not give up because I tried and failed. I will not give up because the medical report doesn't look good. I will not give up because it's taken longer than I thought. I've got a made up mind. I'm going to become everything God's created me to be. And I'm going to have everything God intended for me to have. You may be in tough times right now, but don't let that cause you to get sour. Don't complain. Don't blame God. Why is this happening to me? So learn to dig your heels in. Look that obstacle in the eye and say, you have met your match with me. I know who I am and I know who's on my side. The creator of the universe is breathing in my direction. I've got victory in my DNA. I will not quit. I will not give up. I will not get depressed. I will not start complaining. My report is this too shall pass. This season will come to an end and a new season will begin. A new season in my health, a new season in my finances, a new season with my family. Don't give up on a dream just because you don't see anything happening and it looks dead. Don't give up on a marriage because you hit a few bumps in the road. Don't give up on a child that's off course and been that way a long time. There's another season coming. You don't know it may be right around the corner. Your new season could start tomorrow. You could see things start to blossom in your life this coming week. You can't allow the setbacks of life cause you to get numb and become indifferent to where you give up on what God has put in your heart. Because you got a double dose of trouble and more than your share of contempt, your inheritance in the land will be double and your joy will go on forever. Anybody can quit. Anybody can give up when it gets hard. Anybody can get discouraged because it's taken a long time. That's easy. But it takes a man or woman of great faith to say, I don't see anything good happening in my life. It looks like my dreams have died. Nothing is going my way. But I am not moved by what I see. I'm moved by what I know. Most likely, every one of us is going through something. Life happens. Disappointments, setbacks. I heard somebody say, losers focus on what they're going through. But winners focus on where they're going to. It may look like you're stuck in a rut. You don't really see how you could ever rise any higher. Don't speak defeat over your life. Don't go around saying, well, I've reached my limits. I just don't have the education. I don't have the connections. No, name your future by saying God's face is shining down on me. It may be winter in your life right now. Things are difficult. You don't see any growth. It's kind of dark and gloomy. The good news is, spring is on its way. A brighter season is right around the corner. Well, you say, Joel, I don't understand why this has happened to me. Why did I get cancer? Why did I get laid off? Why was I raised in a negative environment? I don't know why, but I do know this. Nothing that has happened to you can keep you from your God-given destiny. Life may have treated me unfair, but I know God will pay me back for every injustice. You might have had an unfair past, but you don't have to have an unfair future. You can take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. You know, the harder it gets, the closer you are to stepping out. And if you will just keep on keeping on, moving forward, living with faith and expectancy, being your best each day, 
one day what should have destroyed you will be the very thing that helps you rise to a new level. The greater your challenge, the greater your future. If you have a big obstacle today, that just tells me you've got a big future. Keep pressing forward. Be relentless. Have a never say die attitude. Your strength is increasing. Your vision is enlarging. You are strong, determined, well able, not only to outlast every adversity, but to overcome it. You may have tried and failed before, but God is saying, go again. This time is going to be different. No, the obstacle didn't get smaller. You got bigger. God enlarged you. He increased you. You got more faith, more confidence, more determination. Now is the time to get started. Now is the time to get out of your comfort zone and pursue those God-given goals. The most important time of your life is the next 24 hours. What are you going to do with the time you have left? You and I can't afford to sit around, waste another year with no passion, thinking we don't have what it takes, in a career we don't enjoy, giving the best of our life to something that doesn't excite us. Well, make up your mind with me that you're going to make the changes and you're going to start moving towards your destiny. That means we're going to get out of our comfort zones. We're going to start stretching. We're going to dream bigger. We're going to think better. We're going to act wiser. We're going to rise up and accomplish everything that God's placed in our heart. Friends, life is too short to live complacent. If you're not actively moving toward your purpose, taking steps to grow and improve, then that'll keep you from experiencing life to the full. The scripture says in Proverbs, complacency kills. That means being stuck in a rut, not growing, not pursuing new opportunities. That'll kill your passion, kill your dreams, kill your sense of purpose. On a regular basis, you need to reevaluate what you're doing, what your goals are, what are you pursuing, and be willing to make the necessary adjustments. Because there's nothing worse than going through life feeling dissatisfied, knowing that we're being less than what God's created us to be. As you start moving towards your purpose, that low-level pain will go. That sense of the blahs, no enthusiasm, that will leave and you'll feel the spring come back into your state. You'll feel the sense of destiny, knowing that God is breathing in your direction. Every voice may tell you, no way, impossible, stay in your comfort zone. But God is saying, take a step of faith and write that book. Go back to school, launch that new website, you still should. No matter how successful you are, if you're not fulfilling your purpose, you will feel that sense of dissatisfaction. Let me ask you, if you went to heaven tomorrow, would there be something we are missing out on? A gift that you're not sharing with the world? Are there things in your heart you're not pursuing because you're afraid? Or you think you're too old, you're too busy, you don't have what it takes. No, now is the time to get out of your comfort zone and pursue what God's put on the inside. Some of you have been putting off 
living your life. You're working hard, you're being your best, but your life is too narrow. Try something new, expand your vision. Sometimes we can get so caught up in our own little world. If we're not careful, we'll go the next 50 years seeing the same kind of people, doing the same hobbies, going to the same places, and we'll miss the fullness of what God has in store. I'm asking you to dream big. Don't have a narrow vision for your life. When you write down the places you want to visit, don't you dare put Walmart in Conroe the outlet mall in Katy is not going to cut it. Get outside what you're used to. Think big, dream big, expand your vision.